Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays City Skylines. We should z district this area. If you didn't watch the last episode, you might be a little confused. We're, we're making lots of new areas, man. Walnut Park? I think that's a great name for a suburb. We are having some small issues in other areas of our city, but all of that is meaningless because I am expanding. What do you mean? Citizens not to drink tap water. Our water's clean, baby! You're getting sick? How are you getting sick? Average health 82. That smoking ban really helped out, actually. What's our pollution like? Dude, water pollution's going down, you dickholes! I'm so mad! Um, okay, I'll tell you what. First things first. We gotta get rid of this. Oh, we gotta start emptying it. And then this one we can stop emptying. Um... I'm making so much of an effort. Like, look at the water treatment plants I'm putting down here to deal with your fucking horse hockey. I don't care if it bulldozes some offices, who cares? You're living in the water treatment district now, baby. You're gonna die! Is it working? It's working. Screw it, I'm gonna put down some more. Like, clearly the people here are not happy with, uh, with their water. And as a result, um, I'm gonna have to put down some more purification, but I think it's doing it. It's It's still a little poopy water. I'm not gonna lie to you But it could be worse <laughs> That's my philosophy. All right, so I'm waiting to see uh, how how this area develops up here Little bit of low density residential is coming out. We are about to cross our next milestone and I'm pretty sure we can buy this land up here and extend this suburb if we want to slash have to. So you don't have enough workers. That is admittedly uh, a problem. I'll tell you what I'm going to do to increase demand here. Lower tax slightly for uh, low density residential. I don't think it's going to fuck with our budget too much. We also unlock nuclear power plant, but our existing power plants are working out so nicely for us, you know? Alright, let's buy this land right here. 16,000 is basically chump change for us right now. I'm not going to be spending my time uh, bulldozing individual buildings right now, I promise you that. I want to wait for this area to fill in before I expand, because I need to know how the power lines are really going to work for us and stuff like that, but... There's a lot of demand for residential here. It's, I mean, not a lot, but there was a tick of it, which is actually starting, like, pretty good for us. Why not zone a bus route in this area? Admittedly, I'm kind of tempted, but I'm not going to do it, because I am concerned that uh, it'll cause more traffic than it'll help out. Oh, look at that shit. I bought a house and then they build a park next to it. I'm a millionaire. Big Bite, I think you might be, uh, you know, maybe saturating the market. <laughs> like the Big Bite in the middle is not getting any workers, you jerks. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for this to fill in. It's doing a reasonably good job right now. They can't get the camera angle right, that's good. All right, crossroads and traffic. Where? This one? We could put like a big roundabout there or something instead. First, let's take care of the, the couple of buildings in here that have gone under. There's probably more over here. This part of the city is so like nearly self-sustaining, I love it. And High Hills is doing awesome as well, but anyway. Um, let's redesign this situation here. There's like four intersections far too close together. I can understand the conundrum. Bulldoze this. Alright, we're going to replace this with a single roundabout. I have no idea how this is going to work. This one doesn't need trees. Start like... Oh, Jesus. How is this going to work? Okay, start like this. It's not even going to be one way, so this is just going to create another intersection, I think. It's going to be exactly the same thing except with curved roads. What is wrong with me? It's, it's just going to be a round set of intersections. Don't fuck with my park.
Is that a park? We could relocate it. One sec. Yeah, that, that should be moved. Put that there instead. Ah, oh, you moved the park two feet away. I'm pissed. Get over it. Yeah, this is a really nice roundabout that you created here, Northern Lion. Pretty much understand the principles of a roundabout. It's just a circular road, right? I actually think that some... Through some fucked up fashion, this may actually help, which is so ridiculous. Because now, instead of there being like a really tiny place uh, where all of the cars were getting stuck, they're kind of getting pushed around here more, which is, I guess, good. Walnut Hills is filling up here. Walnut Park, whatever. Hills, Park, it's all the same shit here. What's our next milestone? 50,000! We can build an airport, though. I'm actually really excited about that. And we just built uh, this land over here, so what are we going to do about that? Well, first off, let's make sure everything's going fine. We're all right on power. Could use a little bit more fresh water. That's fine. We'll just toss that down into the grid somewhere, you know? I don't think there's any reason not to pull some delicious water out of the, out of the earth right here. I can't think of a good reason why not. I'm trying to place it on the shoreline, you jerks. You're being, being asses about it. There we go. There's some fresh water for you right there. I really should have thought about the power lines before I did that, but that's okay. It's very cheap right now. We're making a lot of money. I don't need to sweat it too much. How are you not connected? There we go. Some that, this is a little finicky sometimes. Okay. I, I need, still need to wait until all of this stuff fills in so that I don't have to worry about power anymore. I think I might pull the old bait and switch on these people. Let them fill in suburbia and then turn it into fucking Manhattan. High rises everywhere. I actually have... I didn't realize we had so much land down here to do something with. Have we just like tapped out? Like, are, Oh no, we haven't bought it all yet. We've only bought seven. Okay. Like we could build another area down here. These are train tracks. Apparently the train stations sort of don't work. So I'm very skeptical to build one. But you know what? Let's... This can be our airport. Yeah. Let's zone this shit. It's a little out of the way. This is like Richmond in Vancouver. That's where the airport is. This will be airport district. That way I don't accidentally build something on it in the meantime. So I actually need to bulldoze the power lines in order for... Can I see like the power as I'm bulldozing? Yeah. Uh, in order to uh, actually get it filled up, which is fucked up. You guys still have power? Yeah, you still got power. Okay. Which means we can bulldoze this. You still got power? Okay, which means we can bulldoze this. And this. All right. Now it's more about this side. Well, if these guys all have power, we've got a continuous kind of web here. So we should be able to cut the power here without causing a problem. All right. That allows us to expand kind of nicely through here. There's going to be no heavy industry in this area. This is going to be all light industry offices, etc., etc. Commercial, retail, big bites. You get the you get the picture. Land value is going through the roof here. Are you hearing this? Ting 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 ting. We're getting so much like new tax income from these high income properties. I'm losing my mind over here. Is it the grid? How's traffic doing? This is a nice neighborhood, man. All right, let's build it out a little bit more. If people love suburbia. I'm happy to extend suburbia. That's fine. Suburbia is actually helping us grow faster than like any kind of concept we've used before, amazingly. I'll tell you what I am going to do, though. I am going to upgrade this road to a six-lane road with trees. That's not six-lane. What am I talking about? This is six-lane. reason we're going to do that, and we'll do it on all of the roads that don't actually border... Um, residences is because I'm about to expand a little bit so let's get a nice little hook going on here nice little hook going on there 
Don't want it quite that far bent. It's not a Matchbox 20 song here. And then we'll go to four lanes with trees. And we're basically just gonna rebuild the exact setup we already have. Which is scary. <laughs> <laughs> like this could cause a ton of traffic. We got we're gonna have so many intersections, uh, but honestly, it seems to be kind of working. I would actually love to get rid of this intersection. Like I think this is gonna cause problems. So I almost want to just like bulldoze that. There you go. We got a cul-de-sac instead. Is it good? Probably not. But we'll extend this like this. It's gonna bulldoze a lot of shit in that area. We're gonna be a little bit more mindful of the number of intersections on the same roads that we're creating. So when we can create like a four-way... What do you mean space already occupied? What are you doing here? What do you mean space already occupied? Well, it's working I guess. I don't know, man. I guess we gotta... Can we just make like a two-lane road? Those are a little tinier. Alright, well, if we can't change it, we can't change it now. Um, go back to our four-lane roads here and just start gridding the shit out of this. On like, This is like the, the secondary roads. Oh, I've been reading the Wikipedia articles on hierarchy of roads. Have I, been, have I been understanding them? No, absolutely not. That's ridiculous. They're way above my pay grade. But I've been reading them. And I've been learning a lot, theoretically. And then we'll just get a couple of grids going along here. We still have like really high demand for uh, industrial and commercial. So I'll tell you what, we'll do exactly the same thing we've been doing. We'll zone up uh, residential like smack dab in the middle here. I'll admit, kind of thought this block was going to look more attractive than it ended up looking. Uh, and then we'll put the services around them. So, a little of that. A little, like, low-density commercial over here. Some low-density residential over there. And we're just going to do this, like, we're going to pipe it up. We're just going to do it in small, like, fits and spurts so our city can grow effectively and not have to worry about, um, you know, it collapsing under its own weight. At this point, we should probably consider throwing our own garbage services over here. Oh, the land value skyrocketing! Listen to that video crowd, they love you! I'm getting into this, man. I want that airport. I want Northern Line International Airport, YNL. All the Canadian airport codes start with Y. Weird, huh? Did we cause that? That's weird. Well, oh, the, why is the water creeping ever closer to our road? Scaring me a little bit. I can't believe that our Lynch Hills gamble here fucking worked. That's so silly. <laughs> but it got the job done. Our whole city's not gonna fall into the loam here, right? You're only like two person lengths away from the water here. That seems very dangerous. Land value skyrocketing, though. Uh, are they filling in? Not at all. We, we need to create more residential demand. I'm going to create, like, one bus loop. It's going to take you, like, down. Which we should start going up. It's going to take you up and around. Like, through this part of the city. You know, I'm not paying too much attention to the way I'm building this, which is dumb. But, it's going to take you to the metro station. And then, come back around like here. There you go. I was hoping this would create some more demand. Well, we got a lot of passengers taking the metro now. 20 tourists a week. Look at our town. It's starting to, starting to we have a little bustling. 
No sewage line? Sewage stops here, so we need to build like another sewage connector. Oh fuck, it all flows this way. Crap. <laughs> Literally, I guess. Oh. I wonder if we can do it like this. Or if we can build like a dam to divert water flow or something. Like, I really don't want people drinking poop water. And they're pulling water from here. So I think we can try this on for size. Space already occupied, huh? Let's see if this helps. Now hopefully people won't get super sick. Does your tap water stink? In jobs area? No. No, 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 no. There's so many water purification plants. How could. Oh, there it goes. Wait, no, no, those, those pumping station. Yeah, those need to move. The purification plants are not holding it off. We got too much poop in our city. Let me just, okay. Is that, you're not linked up? Yeah, you're linked up, okay. Yeah, you, you need to move. I think we can get away with this. Can we get like a, a wonder? That helps us actually like deal with the, the poop related situation we're struggling with? You don't have power yet, huh? Easy enough to fix. I also want to hook up like a, like this. That should solve the problem. Hopefully people in jobs don't continue to get super sick. Seems to have solved the problem, okay. I don't feel like a genius because the problem shouldn't have probably existed in the first place, but that's okay, shit happens, you know? Buildings going up. I see uh, residential demand coming up. Friendly neighborhood park. Fountain of life and death. Let's throw that fountain of life and death in here. Out of city limits. Oh, come on. <laughs> By like a fraction of an inch. Figure we might as well build the wonders, man. Friendly neighborhood park. F yeah. There it is right there on the sea effing shore. Still need power in that fountain of life and death. I guess it makes sense that a fountain needs power. Never really thought about it. I don't really want to draw a power line connecting it, but I think I can do so without effing up the placement too much. Mm. Yeah, that actually should not stop anyone from building there, amazingly enough. And our population continues to grow. It's taken a while here, but, you know, that's low-density residential. Pretty soon we're going to have to densify our city if we want to continue to grow, and I, I do want to continue to grow. I want this to be a big city. 100,000? Again, I think that's, for my... Inability to understand how uh, cities work in real life, I would be thrilled with a hundred thousand. I mean that sincerely. I would be amazed. And if we gotta build suburbs to do so, we gotta build suburbs to do so, baby. That's fine by me. Just gonna keep zoning like this. It actually feels like making the suburbs is a lot easier than making the normal districts. Or not normal. That's. That's a value judgment I apologize for, but you know what I mean. Uh, the, it's a lot easier than making the high-density districts. Less people, bigger area, it's a little simpler to handle all their, their concerns and conundrums. Admittedly, we're not making quite as much money as I'd like. Can we throw down some more unique buildings? Like, this is the land value in this area is going to be out of control. Here we go, Science Center. It's a requirement for building the fusion power plant. Oh, I don't want to live next to the Science Center, it's a little noisy. Pardon the fuck you say to me? 
It's a science, baby. I would throw it, yeah. The science center, you know, the one next to the landfill. We'll put it right here. Science world. People in Birdsong Heights are gonna be losing their shit. Our tourism's gonna be through the roof, man. This city's really come up in recent years. Remember when they had that huge sewage problem? Neither do I. I don't think we're gonna hit 40,000 by the end of this episode or anything crazy like that, but we're making progress. And we're making bank. We could easily get to a million bucks if we wanted to right now. Just stop building stuff for a little while. But I want my citizens to be happy and healthy, man. I want to keep our services going strong here. Medical clinic, you guys are serviced pretty well. You need a cemetery over here. Should have gotten that sorted out earlier. Someone should have come over here to talk to you about your cemetery needs. I'm apologetic about that. We need a firehouse. I, we don't need one yet. What about a police station? You could benefit from having a police station. How about schools? You good? Eh, you're all right. I'll tell you what, I'll throw another one down right there. I want some educated citizens, man. If we built another university, we could build another wonder. Oh man, Walnut Park is just the place to be. All right, this is getting filled up pretty quickly here. I think we can get away with throwing down some more residential. Yeah, people are, they're already saying not enough workers. In theory, as we build uh, more residential areas over here, that problem should go away. There should be too many jobs, people want to work there. That's great conditions for workers. Then, we hit some kind of equilibrium. Oh shit, we got more water problems. Where's the poop? Oh my god, the poop water. It never stops, man. The poop water just, it follows me everywhere. Oh, it's getting into the, it's in the current. We gotta stop this. The poop water is gonna be taken down river, man. Will this still be able to service the other part of the city? I certainly hope so. Can you guys... We just gotta stop pooping so much, okay? I've determined what the problem is. It appears that we got stinky butts. And there's like a lot of death in this area, huh? Hopefully that solves it. But the poop's gonna flow down here, and I really worry about... Uh, if it gets all the way across here, we got more intake over here. Electricity's doing alright, but... Never hurts to throw down, you know, another one, another two, another three. It's real cheap for for our economic situation right now. It's pretty cheap anyway. Still a huge demand for industry. Are you hearing that? That's the sweet sound of progress. Another block of offices. Another block of low density commercial. We'll throw some low density residential up here. It's amazing how much easier it is to make your city grow when you have money. <laughs> You're not just like letting your citizens die all the time. Admittedly, there are some health related concerns in our city right now. You know what? I don't think I ever gave you guys in Lynch Hills like a fire station. That's gonna help out. I'll even give you your own police station. Who knows what kind of crazy shit you guys get up to. At least we've mostly solved our garbage problems, though. I'm pretty stoked about that. Walnut Park is balling out of control. It's very quickly became like my favorite part of the city here. I never would have expected it. But look at this, it's not even that much traffic because there's literally no heavy industry. Remember when I was like, those people are the salt of the earth. I never want to kick them out of my city. We're going to kick them out of our city. What do you mean not enough educated workers? Are you daring me to put down a university? There's not enough educated workers to work at fashionable fashion shop. Ask, and ye shall receive. As a town's third university, one university for every 10,000 people. Land value is gonna skyrocket. And now we can build Theater of Wonders. It's a requirement for building the Large Hadron Collider, naturally. 
Um, the Theater of Wonders. Very convenient location right off the highway. Mm, very convenient location right off the highway. What do you mean you can't fit there? Slope too steep. People will still love living here. Guarantee it. Right next to the university, we got a theater of wonders. That's just perfect placement right there. Listen. You hearing this? The occasional increase in land value? Music to my ears. We're going to start having some garbage related issues here. Oh, that's a lot of building variety right there. Um, let's, let's build a road out to handle our garbage. I should have done that way earlier. I can't believe we've gotten away with it, honestly. This might not be the best way to deal with it, but it's the way I'm going to deal with it. People will say, why does that part of the town smell weird? And you'll say, well, you know, it's all the garbage, but it's all good, man. Because it's also the hotbed of fucking industry. Not industry, literally. I've wiped that part of our city out. It's the hotbed of intelligence and the intelligent pizza. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But it's going well, man. Still getting a few complaints about not enough educated workers. So I'm thinking... You know what? Why don't we throw down a little... Couple blocks. High density commercial. Just like that. That's low density commercial. It's gonna fill up. I made a mistake. Here we go. Couple blocks. High density commercial. Just like that. And we'll throw just a little bit. Just a little... Itty witty bit. High density residential. Old habits die hard. I'm gonna make sure that we get rid of this. There you go. And we'll see if they start building some high-density residential. Just some nice, like, mid-level apartment buildings in Walnut Park. It's the darling of our city. Everybody loves it. How could you not? And we'll throw down some more low-density residential over here, I think, because it's building, man. And we'll throw down some low-density commercial right here. We're going to grid this shit out again. This experiment is proving incredibly successful. Admittedly, not enough educated workers. That'll change in time. Did a tree just fall from where I bulldozed that? I like it. Come on. Come on. You want to live here. Come on. Come on. People are probably like, why would I want to live in a high-density residential when the tax rate is through the roof and I don't even own my own property? That's a great point. I'm going to need you to move here, though, to support these, like, eight stores. Please. We might actually be able to hit 40,000 by the end of this. By the end of this episode, I mean. And that would be a huge boost, like, morally speaking, for me. Because I got stuck at 16,000 before. <laughs> Maybe it was 26, I can't remember. But I think it was 16. Ah, it might have been... I don't, I don't remember specifically, but it's going real well. It's getting better. And I think 50,000 seems obvious now. It seems like there's almost no way we wouldn't get to it. Maybe not immediately, but soon. Oh, there we go. We got one built. The Amity Residence. This is where uh, all 500 of the Amities live. Oh, yeah, and when one comes in... They all come in. What do you think? If we build like a footpath back here, do you think we can trick them into paying like an extra 20% for their rent? Have you seen the footpath? It allows you to move from one parking lot to the other one with ease. Are you hearing this? Give it a second. The land value is going out of control here. Oh, it's getting up there, yeah. Office is still not quite at... Uh, Level 2, which surprises me, but we're getting there. That is music to my ears. It might just literally be music as well. I don't really want to rezone, like, make another gridded area and do that stuff right now because I am about to end the episode. I'm pretty sure. I can check on the timer here quickly. Just give me a moment. There's literally one second. 
So we're supposed to be done with this episode, but I just want to give it a little bit more time just to make sure everything's going well, because this is going to be the last Cities episode I'm going to record today, and I think we got a decent chance to hit 40. I'd like to hit 40. What is this? Toggle snapping. I'll take some time to bulldoze buildings that uh, I uh, maybe have not been bulldozing. A lot of buildings burned down in Lynch Hills, man. It's a Robbie Robertson song somewhere in there. You full yet? Like, each one of these buildings should be able to hold, like, a hundred people. I'm a little surprised that... Is that still the Amity residence? Oh, it's getting awesome. Uh, I'm a little surprised that we haven't hit that number yet. It's coming along, though. How are these houses looking? Oh, those are some pretty nice houses, man. Getting a real Monopoly Tycoon vibe from this. Come on. This will be, like, a mid-level. Yeah. I, I'm so desperate to hit that number. I want it. More buildings burning down. But honestly, buildings burn down in real life all the time, probably. Can't believe I managed to click on that one from so far up. I'm really liking our self-sustaining high hills area here. Probably has like, maybe like a thousand people total in it, but still. It's right next to the highway interchange and people still like living there. That was the sexiest highway interchange I've ever made. When you compare that to this, <laughs> there's a small problem, I think. But it works, man. Look at people are using every single one of these roads. I'm loving it. I'm having a really good time with this game now. I, I liked it to begin with. I'm having an even better time now, though. Now that I understand a little bit more. Oh, the land value, I can hear it. Just come on. Fill in a couple more buildings here. We're so close. We're like a hundred away. You're building more shit. You might as well just hit the number. Is there any like unique buildings we can build? We built like all of them. Except for some of the level ones. Statue of Industry. You wanna put this over in like our industrial area? That seems seems fair. Put it in Lynch Hills, man. These are the people who have allowed the industry to survive. I don't know where we're going to put it. Well, there we go. Statue of Industry. Statue of Wealth. we got to put this next to Northern Lion Tower. This is in Jobs District for sure. Is there a good place for it? I kind of like the idea of a statue being on a roundabout. Slope too steep. There we go. And Statue of Shopping. I feel like the Bread District is like the perfect location for that. And now we've built all of the unique buildings that we have access to right now. Crazy. We just kicked a lot of people out of our city. <laughs> it's going to make it a little harder to hit 40. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's coming up. It's coming up. Here we go. 40,000. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you would like to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll be back tomorrow with another Cities episode. See you then.